Not many people had even noticed the little green lights appearing on the roof of some taxis until the story came to national prominence recently. Drivers, who say it's nothing got to do with emphasising the fact they're Irish, were angry when they were accused of racism. So what is the real reason behind the lights? Midweek paid a visit to Dublin city centre last Friday night to see how many taxis we could find displaying them. There were a couple, but not many. Some had the lights, but they were switched off, maybe as a result of drivers not wanting to get caught up in the controversy. When we went back on Saturday night, though, there were certainly a lot more. So are Irish taxi drivers being racist, or is it all about generating business by letting customers know they're available for hire? Those green lights have been circulating here for about 18 months. But certainly around Spain and Europe, they're there for donkey's years, you know. The idea them in Spain and up in the hills in Spain is when a car was coming down through the hills, the light was very visible. They are very effective, and they do seem to be generating business for our drivers. Mm. But that's the sole purpose of them. Mm. So n nothing in the fact that there are people trying to show that they're Irish drivers? Nothing, or any not, of that? nothing, nothing at all. They're available to everybody. Anybody can avail of them. What about the broader topic of racism in the taxi industry, Christy? Because it does rear its head from time to time that uh, maybe uh, there is a lot of racism in the Irish taxi industry. Is that totally unfair? I, I think it's totally unfair because, I mean, our association here have both uh, sets of nationalities in the, in the industry. And we have, from every nationality in here, as members, we represent them. They get represented the same as everybody else, and they're entitled to that. Somebody did tell me before about, um, just anecdotally, that there was, uh, they'd heard stories about, say, particular ranks in town that usually were almost reserved just for Irish taxi drivers, that the non-Irish drivers would go to particular, wouldn't go to particular ranks, wouldn't be allowed there, I suppose. Is there any truth no, in that? No, there's rank, the ranks are available to everybody. If you can get a space to get on them, anyone who gets a space to get on them, you get on them. Mm. And you've never, no one's ever complained about, uh, do, do, do non-Irish nationals ever complain to your own association about being treated badly by Irish drivers? No. Taxi drivers were very angry with Transport Minister Leo Varadkar when he got involved in the controversy. The minister said any sign on a taxi which might be intended to indicate that a driver is Irish is definitely racist. It prompted one driver to display this sign in his taxi as calls were made for the minister to apologise. Catherine Lynch is from the European Network Against Racism. She's in no doubt that the green light controversy does have racist undertones. It does sound like racism, and I think one of the things that's happened in the past in the past week is that this issue of the green sign has highlighted that question: is racism an issue within the taxi industry and for taxi drivers? Um, and for us, it's very clear that racism is an issue. Whatever you feel about the green signs, whatever you feel about the intent of the green signs, these sit within a context. And as Leo Varadkar, the Minister Leo Varadkar, did point out, that it's not just the green signs, there are other symbols. And we've been conscious for a while, because we take re re reports of racist incidents, that 75% of the incidents reported to us involve racist violence and crime. And there is a very particular issue um, around public transport. Meanwhile, out on the ranks of Dublin city centre, Midweek caught up with some of the drivers. They think the whole controversy is a storm in a teacup. Well, there's very few cars with it. As you see, there's not one car on this rank with it, or over there. But, like, people just make a thing of it and they blow it over portion. So you don't think it's that got to do with taxi drivers being racist or anything? No, they're not being racist at all. They're just looking for work. Absolute nonsense. There's a chap just coming behind me there. He's from Nigeria. Solomon is his name. He walks with us here all the time. We have ch fellow chaps from China, from everywhere. And we have got on great here together. We hear stories the odd time about how certain ranks, non-Irish drivers aren't welcome on certain ranks. What, what's no, that? No, no, no. We don't. Here it doesn't bother us who comes. I walk there, the walk out Collins Street. I walk on the green, I never see any Dublin fellas, Irish fellas, argue with them over that. With the Euros coming up next month and the GAA Championships already underway, taxi drivers say they'll be decorating their cars with more symbols like these in the coming weeks. This photo was taken yesterday outside the Gresham rank on O'Connell Street in Dublin, with drivers looking to show their support for the Ireland team. Here you go, Michael. Here's a couple of examples of what people are proposing. This is, a, for example, the Dublin flag here for people who support in Dublin. You just stick it on, quite simple. And there's no, no racism in that at all. Mm. Okay? And some of the drivers are putting these on their some cars? Some of the drivers are putting them on, and different things for the European Championships, you know. This is another classic one where people are trying to generate business for themselves. Okay, it says Dublin Taxi on the top of it. Dublin Taxi, yes, Dublin Taxi. 
But that's a small consortium, and that's just so simple to do. Yeah. Now you could find a lot of these different shapes coming out for the European Championships, mm. but we don't know at the moment. But people might be afraid now over the controversy over the green light, which is totally ridiculous. Mm. We took a hidden camera along with us on two taxi journeys to see what drivers really thought about the green light controversy and the racism issue in the industry in general. We spoke to one white driver and one black driver. Is it true that there's some ranks around the city centre that are? The direction is very tough, mate. They're not allowed. Are they? Yeah. I think that, the inner city, mate. That was one of the reasons. Even in trying to intimidate guys like me going on to it. Right. You know, it wouldn't matter whether you were black or whether you were foreign. You wouldn't like the fact that you weren't walking there all the time with their buddies and you'd be trying to intimidate you. Well, some people were saying that it was to show that the, the driver of the car was, was Irish, that it was a racist thing, and then some people were saying it was just to show that the car was for hire. First in the queue. Is it true that um, there are some taxi ranks in Dublin where the, the drivers don't let black drivers onto the ranks? O'Connor Street taxi rank, no black. You will never see black here. And Bank of Ireland. There are, for example, signs just saying we are Irish. There are Irish flags on taxi drivers as well. In Galway, that was a phenomenon across the city. And I suppose what's come to our attention and to our members' attention is that it's not just Dublin like the green signs. It's not just the flags in Galway. There are issues around Cork. There's issues around Limerick. So what we will be saying is that there are likely to be consequences of this. It's not just the green signs, it's the other civils. It's the daily harassment and intimidation the taxi drivers are experiencing. Um, and this will lead to violence. So are these little green lights just a revenue generating device or are Irish taxi drivers being racist, as Catherine suggests? The Euros are obviously coming up next month. Will people be afraid to stick Irish flags They'll in the car? They'll be afraid to put up flags, and that's a terrible pity that if you're supporting Dublin, supporting Ireland, supporting Leinster or whatever, that you're afraid to put up a flag. That's nonsense. That is absolute nonsense. But that's the way it's, it's gone, you know. I don't know who started all this, but they must have little to do.